How's it going everybody? I'm back in another video. This is the one I'm most excited about this year because every year I make at least one big purchase and usually it's skates. The idea was like, all right, pick up my first pair of rollerblades and if I really liked it, the following year I'd pick up a different pair that was maybe slightly different and uh, the year after that, keep going and going and try different pairs of skates to see truly what I liked. First year, I picked up USD Shadows 2.0s. The following year, I spent money on another pair of boots and I decided to go with a hard shell. So I picked up USD Sways, specifically the USD Sway Farmers, Chris Farmers. But then after this one, I uh, decided to go with another pair of boots and I went with my Faction Tactical V1s, which are my current daily drivers. So, now we are here, 2024. Today, we did not pick up another pair of rollerblades or boots or anything like that. Um, the one thing that's in common with all three of these skates is I primarily skated them aggressive or aggressively. So, I decided to invest in some items that are going to be a little bit different from the normal for me to get me out of my comfort zone. So I made the purchase of some NN 5x80 Dragon Frames. We're going to unbox them. Oh hell yeah, I was hoping for another pair of these because I broke my last ones. Thank you Long. Got me another pair of sunglasses along with some stickers from Oak City Skate. Now, when you buy the hydrogen wheels, they usually comes in packs of four. So I picked up two extra hydrogen Spectre 80 millimeter wheels from Oak City in the gray, gunmetal gray. And then frames. 5 by 80 millimeter. Man, these are already light. They're lighter than I expected them to be. It's like it's Christmas all over again. There we go. That should get rid of a good amount of the glare. This is a nice box. Look at these bad boys. Man, they look so nice. Look at the shine on those. Some stickers. Focus. Going right onto the water bottle. Let's pull one of these bad boys out. Want to like, I don't want to get my fingerprints on them. We decided to pick up the 5x80 Dragons. Uh, they have the custom VM rocker. Uh, which allows you to do more of those wizard style tricks because that is actually the reason that I picked these up If you are interested in rollerblading or just got back into rollerblading chances are you've seen a clip of somebody wizard skating. That's where they have these uh, longer bigger wheeled rockered frames where they're doing this really graceful swizzly Aesthetic skating that just looks so awesome. So my goal for 2024 is I want to start learning how to do some wizard skating. So I picked up some NN frames. These go for about 209, 210 bucks. That's how I, um, how much they were when I picked them up from Oak City. I'm hoping this is going to be a great entry level into some urban skating, some wizard skating, uh, and a new experience for me. So I am actually going to set these up on the sways for the first time because the wheels that I ordered elsewhere are purple. Well, lilac. So I think it kind of goes well. See what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I've been dying to set these up since they showed up yesterday. Probably leave the camera on and time lapse this 
And, uh, yeah, I'm so pumped. This thing is nuts. This is gonna look so good. And they send these nice spacers that sit really good. Now that we have all of the wheels with bearings in them, we got one skate with one of the frames on. I wanted to test it for the fitment out to see how nicely it fit in the grooves inside the sway sole plates and this thing fits snug i mean they're stiff but they're also light so i can't wait i'm gonna throw some wheels on this skate they have never done these single axle systems so um i'm excited to try this out and i guess they, there's no internal frame spacers really necessary i guess this just kind of Slides through, twist, it's on there. Simple as that, let's get the rest of them on. And there we have it. That's the new setup. Man, that is so sick. So to basically, in layman's terms, explain, if you guys can see this, when this skate rolls, not all of the wheels are on the ground at the same time. It's generally going to be about two wheels are making contact at the same time. And probably as I wear them down, that rock ring is going to be a little different. But this is what they call their VM rock ring. And I can already, just by like moving that skate back and forth, Feel that kind of arc right over the middle balance point so that allows you to turn and swivel. I can already feel that there's barely any resistance on the table. Now these wheels are 85A. I don't know if that's the best when it comes to um, wizard skating, but we're sure as heck going to give it a try. So, alright, I'm going to set up this other skate and then uh, I'm going to throw them on my feet and give them a little roll here in the basement. There we go. Well, crap baskets. Oh, you see that too. So as you can tell, it's been snowing for a bit. We can't go outside and test these frames. So what we're gonna do, I've actually cleared out the basement. We're gonna try and get swively here. At least we'll try our best. I'm so not used to this. These are my first swivels. <laughs> Getting dizzy. So far, I'm loving these things. It's really smooth transitions. The, real, the wheels still need breaking in, but so far, the connection to the UFS is nice and stable, not pronating. The supernating, the position is perfect, so I think I'm getting it from one amateur wizard on his first attempt at wizard skating. I think I got some gazelles. Correct me if I'm wrong, those are when uh, two feet, one edge to the other. Boom, boom. 
but the one where you're exiting in. Those ones are fun. One more try. That was the first roll around on my NN frames, five by eighties. To be honest, so far, I have nothing but good things to say about them. I've only rolled around in the basement so far. I'm waiting for all this weather to clear up so that I can uh, take these outside and give them a real good test and roll around throughout the neighborhood and through some of my favorite uh, parks and try to learn some new things like I learned so far in the basement. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, leave a comment. I can't wait. I had a lot of fun on these. Stay tuned and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Peace.